Ну, блядь, у меня хотя они где-то оттуда их запускают. Нет, это здорово, это не интересно. Это оттуда. Ну, сколько, 12 мне нам сказали, блядь, эвакуироваться надо. Да где-то пол первом прилетел. А там на заводе нет никого, там нет человек. Ну, слава богу, хоть а это распустили. Это был бывший директор или что такое, да, все такое? Да. И он туда вот съебался, и да, нет. Ну, вот его, его просто отвластили с этой стороны. Mm-hmm. У них там своя война, как нас зовут Аджали. Я Эра! Это сейчас, а там солдаты уже стоят, да? Вы все-таки попали, да? West is dragging Poland into war with Russia, Polish judge Thomas Schmidt. Polish judge Thomas Schmidt has asked for political asylum in Belarus in protest over his country's unfair and dishonest anti-Russian stance. Schmidt who served at the Provincial Administrative Court in Warsaw and was the head of the legal department at the National Council of Judges, says he was forced to leave his home country after being persecuted and threatened for his independent political position. He gave a press conference in Minsk where he publicly resigned from his post and asked the Belarusian authorities for protection. The resignation from my position as judge is my way to protest against the unfair and dishonest policy pursued by the Polish authorities towards the Republic of Belarus Rus and the Russian Federation, Schmidt told reporters, as cited by Belta News Agency. According to Schmidt, he has never witnessed any negative attitude towards Russia or Belarus from ordinary Poles and the anti-Russia sentiment that's being whipped up by the government in Warsaw has Western roots. The situation is such that the US wants to drag Poland into the war to make it a direct participant in the armed conflict. To prevent this, I have to talk about it, but in Poland I cannot do this, Schmidt stated, adding that Poland's foreign policy is directly influenced by the US, UK and Germany. He said his departure from Poland and his resignation are in protest against actions that are aimed at involving my country in a direct armed conflict. Schmidt urged the Polish government to normalize and regulate good neighborly relations between Warsaw, Moscow and Minsk. Schmidt added that his resignation will be handed over to the appropriate authorities in Poland through the Polish consulate in Belarus. He plans to apply for political refugee status. I am asking for political asylum in the Republic of Belarus. This is an informal request at this time, but if I want to live, returning to Poland is impossible for me, he stated. Commenting on the judge's resignation and statements, Polish Foreign Minister Radoslaw Sikorski said he was shocked adding that Schmidt's actions appear to be those of a traitor. Defense Minister Vladislav kosiniak kamiz said he ordered an investigation into Schmidt's actions. Russians losing thousands of vehicles attack positions of Ukrainian army with motorcycles. Russia lost thousands of military vehicles in the first two years of the war with Ukraine and the production of new equipment as well as the restoration of old vehicles from long-term storage does not make up for the losses. That's why in the third year of a large-scale war, more and more Russian soldiers are going into battle in trucks, open golf carts and, more recently, motorcycles, Forbes writes. According to the publication, a fast, maneuverable and inexpensive motorcycle is an effective way to move around the battlefield for a courier or scout. The problem for Russian troops in 2024 is that, lacking dedicated armored vehicles as well as larger civilian vehicles, they are riding their unprotected motorcycles straight into Ukrainian positions, just as they started doing a few months ago with their Desert Cross 1000 all-terrain vehicles, and as a result, get hit in the teeth, the publication writes. Thus, on April the 15th, the 92nd Assault Brigade of the Ukrainian Army repelled an attack by Russian motorcycle troops near Bakhmut in eastern Ukraine. Three weeks later, around May the 7th, the Ukrainian 79th Air Assault Brigade destroyed eight motorcycles during the assault 
on Nova Mikhailovka, also in the east of the country. However, despite the losses, at least one Russian unit still uses motorcycles as assault equipment. The Zarya Battalion of the Russian Army's 123rd Motorized Rifle Brigade says motorcycles are faster and harder to detect than heavier, slower armored vehicles. At the same time, the Russians are improving their military motorcycles in the same way they improved their turtle tanks. Thus, writes Forbes, in order to reduce the threat from Ukrainian high-speed drones, which have been seen more than once in pursuit of Russian motorcyclists, some Russian units covered their motorcycles with a metal mesh. However, this does not stop the Ukrainian armed forces as confirmed by videos of the destruction of Russian motorcyclists published online. It was previously reported that the Russian occupation forces began using Chinese Desert Cross 1003 all-terrain vehicles on the front line. In addition, the military reported that the occupiers were actively transporting personnel on two-wheeled motorcycles to the front line.